Welcome to the Google Hangout and Loom tutorial. Due to the difficult situation created by the coronavirus, there was a need for more rapid development of online teaching. Various technological apps have offered countless opportunities for online teaching, but accessing these applications mainly requires a fee. For this reason, this tutorial is being implemented to present applications that facilitate teaching and above all are completely free. Google Hangout, which we will talk about in this tutorial, is a free app that can help you make online meetings with your students or colleagues. To access Google Hangout, you first need an email account and log into this account. Once the account is set, you can click on the multi-dot button and with the help of the elevator, find the Hangout and click on it. This immediately sends you to the Hangout. Also, another way is for you to type in the URL bar hangout.google.com. On the left side of your screen, you will notice some icons. If we click on the button with two people, we will see this window in which we can search for the people we want to contact with. So we can click on the plus button set the name or the email address of the person, and immediately on the right side of your screen, you, it, you will see a window that contains a blue button that says Send Invite. So click on it, and the invitation is sent to the person. If the person has accepted the invitation, as in such a case, then this chat window will appear in which you can type different messages like hi again. You can use stickers. Also, on the right side of this window, you can click and have the ability to upload photos, albums, or videos. You can also communicate via the camera by clicking on this icon as the camera. To the right of this icon, you can see a person with a plus. You can click it. And here you can find the list of people or you can search all the people you want to be part of the communication in this conversation. If not, as in our case, we click cancel. You can also make a phone call by clicking directly on the phone icon in the middle of your screen or on the left side of your screen over the phone icon. Click on the phone sign in the middle of the screen, in this case, and then click on the plus. And here we can enter the phone number of the person we want to communicate with, but be careful. This might, ha might have some calls depending on the different countries. You may see them here. Now I will show you how to make a video call. You can click on the camera icon in the middle of your screen. A window will immediately appear. And inside this window, a table will ask you to enter the emails of the people you want to be part of this training with you. You can set the email addresses. And here you can add nine more people. As the limit is nine people, along with you, ten. Then click on Invite. Or another way is that you can click on the copy link here. And this link you can send to people who will be present at the meeting. I'm going to mute my camera. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the microphone button, which now is muted. And if you click on it, it will become unmuted. The red button allows you to leave the meeting. 
while the button with the camera sign allows you to appear or not on the screen, which at the moment we have it muted. On the left side of your screen, you will see a chat icon in which, if we click, we can send messages to all the people present in the meeting. On the right side of the screen above, you will see three icons. The first icon serves to invite all those people we may have forgotten to place and so again we type the email addresses here and after we have typed it we click invite so we click here the second icon serves to control the access and quality of the camera or microphone in this case, our camera is muted. And to make it active, let's say, we simply click on the button with the camera sign. The three dot button is a very important button through which you can share your screen with the people present at the meeting. So click on share screen and Everyone will see everything on your screen. You can choose to click your entire screen or just a part of the window. To display the entire screen, click on the screen and then click Share. Invited people can immediately see the document you have opened. And in this way, you can explain to your students or colleagues, depending on the meeting you're holding, everything related to that document. This way, your students can accomplish their tasks more easily. To stop the presentation, just click on the stop button and so the presentation will stop. While away from the call, click on the red button. If for various technical reasons, such as disconnection from the internet, your students have failed to listen to you and constantly ask you to repeat what you have said, there is a way for you to record the whole meeting along with your explanation when you did share screen. Apps such as Google Meet, which is a branch of Google Hangout and many other applications do not offer this service for free. So my suggestion to you is to record your entire screen during the meeting through a free app called Loom. Click on the URL bar and type loom.com. What you will see will be the Loom page. Click Get Loom for free. Once you have set up an email address, click free, create free account and then fill in the data. Click on I agree and then continue. In this page, Loom asks for a confirmation account via email. So we check the email and make the confirmation. Then you click on as a teacher, so for educational purposes, and click continue again. What you need to do next is install the app. You click on install app and then continue. After installing the app, click on it, so make a double click, you will see this window. If you press start recording, then it will automatically record your entire screen. Once your meeting has started, then you can go and click start recording. 
and everything will be recorded. You will be able to find your video after the end of the meeting in your Loom account, clicking on My Videos. You can click on a video. After that, you can click on the copy link. And you can send this link to all the people who have been in the meeting or have not been able to be part of the meeting due to several reasons. Another way is to click on invite people and set the email addresses of all the people you want to see the video. So you type down the email address here and then click add email. You can also download the video clicking on the download icon or you can delete it you can delete it from the bin icon above all you can use loom to record your screen while you are explaining different topics of the subjects you are developing or even when making video calls not only through google hangout but also through other apps so loom is a great way to increase the quality of teaching for your students and all this for free I hope this tutorial helps you a little to make your teaching easier. Thank you all for your attention.